Hi guys, it is a gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in the Hollywood Hills on this gorgeous Monday evening, uh, June 26, 2017. And uh, I've just been meaning, well, meaning to tell this humorous story. I just figured it out a day or so ago. I just think this is a humorous, humorous story. Uh, on a sick, twisted, ironic level. So one thing that I haven't really been talking about the past few days in, my, in this house sitting, dog sitting gig that I have going here in the Hollywood Hills, I have also been kind of, I don't want to use the word babysitting, but I've been kind of looking after this 14 year old uh, here in this house. He's actually, I mean, that, not that this means anything, he was uh, ad adopted from Guatemala by this uh, nice woman and her husband. Well, her husband's no longer living. But anyway, this very nice couple went down to Guatemala, rescued uh, this, this child from, you know, grinding third world poverty back when he was a baby, brought him up here to the Hollywood Hills where he has been raised. Really nice kid really nice kid so I got here at six o'clock on Wednesday morning six o'clock on Wednesday morning I am 99 percent certain that from six o'clock Wednesday morning till noon Sunday Thursday Friday over four days four days and six hours this young man this 14 year old very nice very intelligent, very polite, educated uh, young man. My guess is that he spent three minutes in four and a half days, that he spent approximately three minutes outside the confines of this house. I know goddamn well he never uh, jumped in the swimming pool. He never took a... Uh, a dive in the pool. Uh, he, he never looked out over this gorgeous view one time. I, I'm not exactly sure what he was doing for those four and a half days. He he did not seem to be in, in, in front of some sort of computer screen, although I don't know what the hell he has going up there in his bedroom, but he, he always, every single time I saw him, Every time, I'm talking virtually every single second that I, that I was seeing him. He had he had headphones on, and and some little gadget. It didn't exactly seem to be a smartphone. I I'm not sure it was a smartphone. I think it was some other fucking little gadget that I don't know. Uh, as far as I know. That this young man, from the moment he wakes up to the moment he goes to bed, he he has these earphones on and he's wired up to whatever this gadget is. So anyway, I got here on Wednesday. Uh, his 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 mother is in uh, in New Mexico, and I'm house sitting, and she told me, and and I and I knew and. Uh, he told me that on Sunday, meaning yesterday, he was going to camp. Going to camp. <laughs> and I'm thinking, finally, uh, that this kid is going to camp. So yesterday morning, while, while he was getting ready, I guess uh, one of his buddies was coming to pick him. Anyway, while he was packing for camp, and, and, and I noticed what he packed. This is a one-week camp. I guess that means seven day camp. I don't know, it's either five days or seven days. Uh, but he packed this little bitty day pack, like maybe two or three changes of clothes. And, and I was thinking that was kind of weird. And I, and so I said, dude, I said, so are you looking forward to going to camp? And he goes, oh yeah. He goes, can't wait. And, uh, and so apparently he told me he went there last year and really loved it. And, and I said, oh, really? I said, so where, where are you going? Uh, 
I said, are you going up to like Big Sur? Uh, are you going up to the Sierras? You know, I was picturing, I was picturing summer camp. Uh, my my vision of summer camp was this young man, you know, hiking, canoeing, rock climbing, maybe some little geology field trips and whatnot. And, and he looks at me like I am a completely Alzheimer's riddled old man, which is what I am. Uh, like, 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 what the fuck are you talking about? Am I going to Big Sur or to, uh, or to the Sierras? Now, he didn't quite say that. Uh, he, he said, I'm going to UCLA. UCLA, the University of California in Los Angeles, is where this young man is going to camp for the next week that it, he is going to a tech camp. A tech camp that he and I don't know how many, I don't know whether it's 10 or 10,000 other 14 year olds are, are going to be camping, camping the next week on the campus of UCLA in a tech camp. And we wonder why we're so fucked. As, uh, as far as I know, this young man has never climbed a, a, a fucking hill in his life. Sure as shit, has never been in a, in a canoe. And I was just thinking, oh my God. All I told him was, uh, have fun and uh, things have changed. Things have changed since I was 14 years old. Things have changed since I was 55 years old. Uh, things have changed. And we wonder about the future generation we are leaving this train wreck to turn around this train wreck. I got my dose this week, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this rant uh, and go uh, pour me another margarita for the end times and think about my life and uh, think about my own life, about my, where I need to go camping when I lose this house on Wednesday morning. Bye guys. That's a little mockingbird cranking up for his evening his evening song. You sing it, little mockingbird. Bye guys.